Well, I was tracking three individual supercellular storms that were producing large hail down here in Montgomery, parts of Clinton, and also Boone and Tipton counties. But those are pulling away. Notice the individual cells we've got here pulling off to the east. We've got this warning for Tipton County, which uh, is going to be expired early because that storm's already out of the county. But the good news is this is all getting out of here. Though if you're headed down towards Indianapolis, that storm's producing golf ball sized hail. That's headed for the Indy Airport right now. But skies are generally clearing out. And we're going to be in better shape as we head uh, for the evening hours. But I had several reports of, hair, uh, of uh, hail down here in parts of Montgomery County and Boone County. Hail up to one and a half inches in diameter or ping pong ball size. But in the meantime, notice the clouds on the way out here. Downtown Lafayette, we're looking west towards Purdue. Just a few high thin cirrus clouds right now with temperatures at 72 Lafayette and 70 Monticello. But there's a weak little cool front up here and that's why it's 63 at Morocco. So that will slide through tonight and that'll chill it down a little bit. In fact, as we head for 11 o'clock, we'll be down to 51 degrees. I think any storm chance you can take out of the forecast now with the 66 at 7 p.m. So after 40s tonight and that isolated severe threat coming to an end now will warm up rapidly, especially Sunday and Monday will be at if not exceeding record warm levels with highs in the 80s before the severe weather threat returns Monday and then it cools off late in the week. So tonight though, again a few clouds around. There could be a little bit of fog later on tonight as we drop well down uh, into the 40s. Tomorrow kind of a partly cloudy day. I would not be a bit surprised with the front that came, uh, is coming through right now as it hangs up about right here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's an isolated shower or thunder shower Rensselaer to Logan's for otherwise it's going to be a pretty nice day. The front will be about right here. So south of it, you know, mid 70s Perrysville, low 70s Attica and upper 60s to right around 70 Lafayette, but only 63 Peru and 62 at Winnemac, but changes are going to start to happen here. It's going to get stormy again, especially early next week around here. So after the pretty warm day today, that severe threat coming to an end, 68 kind of windy tomorrow, uh, maybe a little shower in our northern counties along that front, and then the front goes way north on Sunday, and we are bathed in record-breaking warmth with 83. 83 Monday, severe weather threat will increase Monday. We may find ourselves with a line of storms late in the day with a damaging wind and hail, maybe isolated tornado threat, and then it cools off briefly with some frost before we go back to the 60s and even 70s again. But I tell you, later next week with highs only in the low 50s for a day, that'd be the coolest weather we've seen since early March. So again, tomorrow you'll notice north isolated shower, thunder shower, but very warm Sunday, mostly sunny, 83. Some severe weather possible late Monday at 83, then much cooler for two days, and then it's back to 72 on Friday. So that cool snap won't last long, Gina, but it'll hit you. After 83, we're going to go down to 55 the next day. But a good-looking weekend, and as you said, tonight we're almost uh, in the clear. Yeah, pretty much in the clear.